How do you break the news? I mean, does, does Bob dress up as Jack Nicholson and say, you can't <laughs> handle the truth? <laughs> we could take, we can do that. It'd be fun. <laughs> He'll just show up at dinner. And you want the, the truth. <laughs> in, military, in a military outfit, he sits down. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> It get their attention. Yeah, it would, yeah, wouldn't yeah. it? We need to talk seriously for a moment, you know. So how do you, how, how do, you do it? Do you do it over dinner? Is it is it just you know? How, well, we're going to have them captive in the car for a few days, yeah, exactly. so, yeah, so yeah. there'll be lots of talking in the car. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking you can't get out of the car. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, we have you now. You have uh, to listen to us. Yeah. So. It's, it's the idea of. Uh, um, well, it's like there, there's one of the thoughts I have because I always I tend to gravitate back to uh, construction differences and housing differences and that kind of thing. And there's there's um, uh, a brand new house that's being built near us that's been being built for the last year and a half. Uh, it is still not completed. And um, I'm going to take a side shot of the driveway to, to you know, just to raise awareness that, that um, you really need to have a good perspective, particularly, James, if you're buying before you come, you, you really need to have a good perspective of the lay of the land and just what it's like, because uh, drainage might be an issue, or in this case, uh, the house is close enough to the street and the elevation change so extreme that when you're on the street, you're looking into the second story or the, what they call the first story here. And the ground floor is uh, only, I'd say, 80 feet away from where you're standing and you're dropping a good 12 feet in that 80 yeah. feet, you know. It's like you're um, sitting in a hole. Yeah. And so, so. Um, that's part of it is giving people an overall perspective of, of everything they're going to find. And, and in that process, uh, because we're, we're geared for exploratory right now, just focused on the north eventually across the country, but give them the, the realities look. Um, for example, we were going to come, we brought our motorcycle helmets, our, our boots, our jackets. We, we were going to get a bike when we got here. Yeah. We brought all that with us, took one whole tub that we could have had some of. Of our precious yes. tubs. I could have brought more books. Yes. I could have brought more books. <laughs> and, <laughs> and after a couple months being here, it, it was really, really quite cool. It was it was one of those, you know, cross cross brain thoughts. You know, I, yeah. I was following a motorcycle thinking to myself, maybe we need to look at a sports car and Viv out of blue says, you know, I'm wondering about getting a bike and we hadn't said anything yet. And then we pull into uh, continent and we see, ah, we see one of the little uh, smart roadsters. It's like, okay, for this land, <laughs> for this <laughs> land, we'll, we'll go for four wheel sports car in the, in the long run fun and joy department um, because we love to take these turns up a mountainside somewhere to find a little capella at the top of it and views that are out of this world and a peaceful feel that just sinks to your core mm. and, on, and on a motorbike um, can't do that. It, it, well, it, it's well when, they don't do all well doing this yeah you know, when, when, when you stop all of a sudden yeah. and the road's at a tilt yeah. and your downhill foot doesn't reach the ground, it's a problem. <laughs> you hit it's the ground. We learned that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got it. Exactly. Whoa. Oh, yeah. you go. And so, so that's an adjustment we made after getting here. But it's, it's, it's just that, that big picture of what all the nuances are that in a, that in a, in a tourist trip you, you just can't catch the nuances and we 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 don't we don't want to i mean we love we love where we are and and we love living here we everything about it but but like it was just talking about there there are adjustments yeah. mm -hmm. there's right. a word that just hit me through all of this description discernment 
Is mm -hmm. that what we're doing is we are looking with a more discerning eye, not just mm -hmm. to the fun stuff, but right. to all of it. So mm -hmm. it's not fun stuff, good stuff, bad stuff. It's just all of it, which is yeah. incorporated in that life. So d a discerning view. Uh, I got that, Bob, when you were talking about looking at that property. Like you saw the property, but you were through discerning eyes. You're looking yeah. at the realistic qualities. Hi, Louisa. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, def definitely. Discernment's a good a, a good word, and um, um, so we we I think part of what Viv's expressed to me, like when she was reassessing, is she over and over. I can't imagine going through all this work to get here with a visa, and then decide I don't like it. Yeah, and go back actually move back yeah. was to wherever yeah. to me wherever they come from it's like how do you do all this and decide be that unhappy with it that you would leave yeah. so and we we're trying to prevent that if we can prevent a few people from doing it it'll be good yeah. fantastic yeah. which goes fantastic. goes to that wisdom of you know spend one or two years here before you make Absolutely. any major financial investment property yeah. investment you know moving all your stuff yeah. living in fully furnished places for a period of time really get a feel for it before you do all that other right. stuff right. because then if you really need to go it's not as difficult yeah. right yeah or costly well said and, and whatever you decide to do i think one of the important things is have a support system you know be mm -hmm. be, yeah. be open to what uh, bob mm -hmm. viv and james are talking about this morning mm -hmm. and have an outlet for those concerns because they i do i think they tend to get more challenging and difficult if unexpressed and unattended to like weeds aren't yeah. they really so mm -hmm. have that whatever you choose to do i mean if you are sort of you know all in um, and you buy somewhere you know without ever having visited or you're going to be mm -hmm. taking a, a month a year two years to, to take your time I think the really, really important thing, and what I like to think we do it here on a Monday morning, is have the space, no, no, somewhere to go where you can voice these concerns yeah. and, and hear mm -hmm. some, some wisdom about. Yeah. Well, and ultimately, and too, I, I think because expectation just keeps coming up, keeps coming up, and managing the expectations. Mm -hmm. I haven't in a year and a half. I haven't once thought, oh, I wonder if I really want to stay, or oh, Maybe. what mistake did I make? I never got into a sadness about making that choice. None of that. I made the choice. I was solid in it. I knew what I was doing, and my mm -hmm. expectations were were reasonable. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm going to change my life. I'm moving my life elsewhere. It's a different mm -hmm. culture. It's a different language. Everything's going to be different. And can I manage that? Yes, I actually want to manage that. Mm -hmm. So I haven't run into any disappointments, certainly adjustments. Absolutely. Yes. Different, but not disappointments. Yeah. I can't yeah. see myself ever reaching a place where I feel anywhere close to feeling bad about being here, much less bad enough that I have to leave. So yeah. managing that before I even got on a plane was incredibly important. And that's the value of the service you guys are providing is getting some of that realistic expectation mm -hmm. set before people start making these decisions. Right. Yeah, exactly. so, James, thank you. A few quickies and we'll get into uh, more about what you may want to say about joy, Viv. Um, we've got um, Doug uh, thinking he might come over uh, in October, November. Um, and uh, Gary, who also says this morning, faith can move mountains, but that's because you've been working out. That joke snuck in there. Uh, Garvo is suggesting you come to Tamar in for the weekend, the Discovery uh, weekend we're having, uh, Discover Portugal weekend we're having in Tamar. Doug, it would be fantastic to see you in person there, my friend. Uh, absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, this thing then of, of joy, Viv, uh, is it, mm -hmm. is it um, precipitated or inspired by... The same thing that um, me and Louise were having yesterday. We got this sad sense that whilst there were hundreds, thousands of people in the bay having a holiday and doing mm -hmm. the right thing, you know, society's train was on the tracks. You have a holiday, mm -hmm. you go away and enjoy yourself. There weren't many smiles. Um, is there? Is there? A, is there a joy crisis in the world? Are you seeing that, or is it nothing connected to that? I think it's worldwide. I think I think everything is so stressed right now. It's hard to feel joyful it's hard to feel hopeful if you really think about it and yeah. i'm a lot of the unhappiness i'm seeing here is among the expat community the immigrants they're 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 not happy a lot of them are not happy they're not joyful and i don't 
they seem to bring everything that they said they left with them and they keep talking about it and they keep bringing it up and it's like leave it you left it leave it don't bring it with you and i don't know how to address that because i don't you know i'm not their mothers i'm i'm not I, <laughs> I don't know and i don't want to take on the role of <laughs> the if, key. Necessary, if necessary you will okay i will i you will take that out of the landing. Warned, everybody i think james might thank you uh, for that viv and you're not yes the person to say that to me in the last week at a conference you know really you, yeah. yeah really you know it's so, and, and the, the, per, the other person i spoke to i did actually go not mum on them but went all out like coach trainer on them and said look yes. you know, you're unhappy you're, you're, what you're doing is projecting your unhappiness onto the situation you find yourself right. in. And that's what needs exactly. attention here. And that's, mm -hmm. that's like, whoa, you know, it's, it's a very easy thing to blame the country where you can't get a particular kind of um, yes. condiment for your food and then have that right. as the problem. But it might be masking this um, unhappiness thing that you're referring to. James, do you want to add something to that? Well, I, I was just going to say the key there is letting uh, the impulses we want to help and we want we don't want people to feel bad so what can i do to to change that and the the unfortunate or just the truth of it is we can't that's not our job we can't cause them to be happy or or anything now we may be able to influence them by our own example which is what i use i'm not gonna i'm gonna be conscious that you're down i'm not gonna let you pull me down with you i'm gonna remain in my state and maybe i can pull you up with me but that's still up to you and that's that's the hard part is, you know, you can't tell someone leave it behind. But thanks for calling it nonetheless, Viv. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, making them aware, you know, you brought mm -hmm. it with you. And so you can leave it anywhere you choose. Absolutely. Exactly. That's the influence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we can't take that bag out of their hand. <laughs> no. Really let go. No. Exactly. I can just point out to them, you yep. feel better if you put that down. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's, well, that's it. Yeah. That's Amazing. what you can do. Well, that's 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 quite the incredible realization and share this morning. Uh, look, I don't think uh, this Matt gentleman is it has that condition. Uh, it's <laughs> wee o'clock, and this time uh, the show's not finished already, and we miss you all so much, says Joao Denor. And here's one of the things that can happen. Oh, they sold it. Good. Look, that personal news, we sold our place. I hope you haven't put that on personal writing personal news thinking that's only getting to me there Joel, well, because you're in the comments <laughs> personal news <laughs> we sold our place in Salida, colorado expect to close head to september we'll have both feet on P portugal from now on and that's oh, interesting yeah. that's one of those things that can change over time isn't it is like you know we'll be bilocated looks like um as well uh miss uh, senor senora do norte are putting both feet firmly in Portugal now. Yes. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for these kind words, Sarah. GMP has been a fantastic support system for us. And, you know, as long as uh, me and James have breath in our bodies, we intend to be here on a Monday morning as that support system. Well, along I was just going to second that. Me too. Like, yes, absolutely. Okay. Tremendous support for system. For us too. Mm -hmm. Well, wonderful to hear that. Jim also in this morning uh, asking you a question, Viv. Was there something in particular you did or was it a series of slow realizations that, you know, when you came to that uh, year point um, and there's a little bit more to that, i.e. Uh, shift back to a more positive outlook. So I think essentially his question is, what did you do act practically, actively about that? It was a slow realization. I had to I had to feel the feelings first and figure out what is this? And once I figured out what it was, it's like, OK, did something happen or is it just a lot of small things and for me it was a lot of small things it was just one thing on top of another and then it was the straw that broke the camel's back it just um got to be one little thing too much mm -hmm. and what i did to come back was i started looking for the good and looking for why i came here to begin with and like i said i never wanted to leave never wanted to go back i had to figure out how to be here with my joy and keep my joy and don't let all the little aggravations pile up and weigh me down. Mm -hmm. And so little by little, I got there and it's been great ever since. That's and so I, awesome. 
You know, Happy and to hear it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. sharing. It, it feels so too. much better. Well done, dude. You did the work. Yes. <laughs> Poor Bob. Yeah. Poor Bob. <laughs> that is good for Bob too. Let's believe it, isn't it? That is good for Bob. And thank you, buddy, for this uh, wonderful support system as a whole. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. It's a it is a whole community that offers this isn't it it's tangible intangible and i'm so glad to be hearing that this morning um really thank you so much viv for sharing this this morning um yeah this you know that realization and how perhaps you know different people different approach it in a, in a different way um, and maybe a real service to someone who's feeling like that right now you know that they've got to that point where they're thinking yikes i don't you know i don't feel like i did when i first got here or mm -hmm. how i expected to feel going back to mm -hmm. james idea of expectations can i ask you bob i mean how how is that as a partner to be and and you know just say i don't want to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it obviously but he how, can talk how, about it we've talked about it how, how i was paying the butt for a while i was well thank you for owning that as well Viv, you are, you're, a beacon. you're a beacon to this community and owning mm -hmm. shit this morning thank you that's very right much. <laughs> Bob. I did it. I'm responsible for yeah. it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for saying that and, and yeah. you know, sharing it in the way you are. But what was it like, you know, to be in a relationship with somebody going through that process? Um, confusing. Um, not knowing what, what part I was playing in all that. And um, we're, we're usually so connected mentally spiritually just just a depth that, that constantly astound me mm -hmm. that that was a disconnection be, was. because we weren't on the same plane for a while suddenly um, we couldn't read each other's minds anymore it's like yeah. what is this <laughs> and and so the the biggest thing handling it from my standpoint was i did all i could to stay steady and uh, um, I didn't, I didn't really think it was something I'd done, but she was in a place that was very rare. She wasn't willing to take me yet, and so it was, it was waiting until she was able to express. It was over. Uh, uh, we don't do breakfast; we do brunch on a daily basis. <laughs> And it was uh, it was just sitting over a, a cup of tea, and um, she she got to the point where she was ready to open up, and that and and then for me being a guy, the challenge was not to just fix it, you know. Well, <laughs> <this is okay. laughs> something yes. <laughs> it wouldn't have gone over well. And, and so so even in those moments it was still to do all i could to stay steady and and um listen because that's um well that was part of what what she shared was at the core of it was was when when uh, she'd be some places and 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 would shut down because nobody was interested in what she had to share at all and uh people talk over you you start to say something and, and they just write yeah. over you and it's like okay <laughs> yeah yeah and that was quiet now that was at the core of a lot of it i think women and and so some of it yeah. so for me uh she hadn't got to where she could express that well yet but when she did it's like okay so the best thing i can do is listen and ask questions and not propose too many solutions. I probably proposed some, but you did not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Like you know. Well, what you need to do, Viv, is right. have you tried? <laughs> have you tried? Did you talk to? Just shut up. Yes. Just shut yes. up. Listen. <laughs> yes. That's yes. Amazing. I did. Now, her, she never said those words, but her face did. Uh -huh. so, uh, bless you both. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much both for being so open and honest and taking us to this part of the migration conversation this morning. It's been absolutely wonderful. And uh, I think it's almost like the universe's reward, isn't it? You talk of joy and, mm -hmm. you know, the absence of it. And by the way, Viv, if ever I talked over you and shut you down, I am so sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, talking of joy, I mean, the yeah. universe kind of says, okay, 
you want a joy here's some joy uh who's there you go there he is. Who, 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 the who is this? tell us about garcia garcia right okay tell us about gustavo garcia and the, what you wrote about this character last night with the he's looking at bob yeah here, and yeah. you had the most uh, it, it, very uh, very often you come up with these wonderful turns of phrase viv and um, you said something about he 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 thought he'd hung the moon. Is that what you were saying about this? He this thinks character? Bob hung the moon. He adores oh. Bob, and I said I know he did. <laughs> he <laughs> he thinks him. Bob hung the moon, and that's how a dog looks at you when he thinks yes. you hung the moon. Yes. yes. What's the story? Is he your dog now? Are you house? Are you he dog? Is. We gave the adoption papers back yesterday, and he is oh, wow. formally our dog. <laughs> Congratulations. He is. We a went and rescued fella. him. Yeah, we got a right. call from an agency. We've been involved in dog rescue since we got here. Yeah. And we got a call uh, to go and see if we could find this this boy. Yeah. He was in trouble in the neighborhood and someone was afraid he was going to get killed. So, oh no, right. Uh, long story short, we got him and he had a foster to go to. And when they found out he wasn't a puppy, it fell through. So he had no place to go. And I said, okay, I can, we can foster him for one week. And somebody, we were at a uh, dinner and we took the dog with us just, just because. And somebody said, oh, what's his name? And Bob said, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye was his name. No intention of keeping this dog. No intention. Oh, we were ready for a dog. Didn't We weren't looking for a dog. And um, he's Gus. So he just kept looking at Bob that way. <laughs> it's like, what do you do when a dog looks at you? Stop like? that. Stop it. Stop it now. Yes, yeah, stop it, it now. That. You're making me fall in love with you. Stop it. <laughs> he knew what he so, was doing. He knew exactly he what he was doing. But he's a great dog. He's yeah. so good. Yeah. He's yeah. calm and he's smart and he's full of joy. He just... Yeah. He does this dance every morning and he spins around and he does it every time he wants a treat or something to eat or just because he's happy or just just because he's so full of joy and he he's a wonderful dog so he sure is welcome welcome to the portugal pathfinder team yes yes and we, uh, i think i sent you a picture carl we actually took him to the cider festival at 11 30 <laughs> saturday night yeah, and uh, uh, once we got past all the trees on the Avenida yeah. dos Pontes to get to the cider festival, uh, he did really well. It yeah, was the noise and the crowds didn't bother him at all. Yeah. He was letting everybody pet him. He was very happy, happy and grounded and calm. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. Just happy to be there. That is such lovely news. I might have that picture of him at the uh, Cider Festival. You had a Cider Festival then, by the yeah. side? Yes, over the weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. It was fun. Yes. There we are. There he yeah. is. Did he like yeah. cider or did he stick to water? No, he stuck to water. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't Do care like, for the cider much. Did you like the cider? I know Owen did. Did yes. you like the cider? Yeah, yes, it was we very did. good. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. the last one we tried was our yeah. least favorite. Yeah. Oh. It taste, tasted like cider made from beets. Yeah, it and, tastes uh, like beet juice. It yeah. was even red. It's like yeah. Oh, I, I, have, good, I have problems it? with this one, but yeah, uh, that's not good. Well, but in any yeah. case, it and one of the things that that I noticed, uh, you know, what, well, when I sent you those pictures yesterday, and we were talking about joy and so forth, um, the uh, there was a large crowd there. It was late at night. There were everything from babes in arms and strollers to the to the grandparents or great grandparents as per normal, and. Um, uh it it seemed to be a largely local crowd mm -hmm. and yeah. and there was there was a lot of joy that did not appear to be the the stressed on vacation wiped out etc cetera, etc cetera. it it uh you know jim jim is absolutely right the projected unhappiness can be contagious it's and, and the same with projected happiness you know and, well and Yes. People were dancing. There was a DJ. Yeah. Like little kids were dancing. Parents were dancing. Yeah. Uh, it, it was fun, and every crowd that we're in, and we've been around with a lot of Portuguese people lately, just our friends and everything. And they're happy people for the most part. They're they're not the ones with the joy crisis. <laughs> I think we're bringing that with us. 
yeah. and yeah. it's vacationers and i think you just get overwhelmed with the choice and the there's so many things to do and when your time's limited it's like what do i do next i don't want to miss anything yeah and yeah. FOMO uh -huh. is a big problem i have fomo i will admit this i have FOMO. i'm always exactly afraid that. i'm going to miss something yeah but you and, and, you're and you are time. all the time yeah <laughs> Are you, and you're, the truth, you're always but missing I, something. I may not live 40 years. So <laughs> right. I need to see this tomorrow. <laughs> well, I need to see can, everything now. We can yes. sympathize, can't we? Have you guys just got four or five minutes more? Is that okay with everybody? Sure. Just because yeah. We, yeah. We've had a lovely conversation this morning and there are things unsaid and unshared okay. so far. And that, that is an interesting comment from Jim. And I will make a public service announcement now because uh, I think I can in my position. Uh, that projected unhappiness can be contagious sometimes, like a pebble in a pond. It can ripple. So I would, I would ask as a public service announcement that anybody who is on, who is projecting unhappiness, just stop it. <laughs> well, immediately. Stop it, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. We've got that somewhere, haven't we? Uh, so yes, if you are projecting unhappiness, <laughs> stop. <laughs> However, Stay home. Keep your unhappy self at home. <laughs> well, no, on, a, on a slightly more compassionate note, given that you're all here, um, is yeah, you know, there's help available. We get it. You, you're human. Fear of missing out. Fear of getting it. Well, getting overloaded. The world's been a pretty tough environment to be in for a lot of people over the last unfulfilled week. expectations. Yep. All of it, all of it is there, and we get it. And you know, if you can notice it, as James says to us, you know, if mm -hmm. you can notice, you can choose, and if you can choose, you can act. And there is a community here ready to hear your woes, not for too long, but because if it, we're not having this turn into a great, you know, good moaning fest, good morning, good moaning Portugal, but we, you know, we recognize this happens. And we're here to help you turn that round. And like Jim's saying, you know, a pebble in a pond, it can ripple. And just like Bob said, if it's a happy uh, projection, that can also ripple. And that's what we want. To, that's yeah, what we, we can lift people up without talking need more of that. just yeah. by Absolutely. maintaining that energy in ourselves. I mean, there's research. It's scientific. It's not mm -hmm. just some airy fairy thing. When you right. raise your vibration and your heart uh, place to a higher place, and you're just standing within three feet of somebody, you can influence them. If they're in a bad state, yes. you, they'll start pulling up. That's why I think these festivals and things have that impact. There's so many mm -hmm. people feeling it. We're surrounded by it and overlapped by it. So yeah, yeah well, we can, how we can help, don't say anything and just maintain as, as Bob said, just try to maintain even further lift up. Sorry, yeah. I pressed that button by by mistake there in my in my haste to add a joyful video that's coming. But well said, well said, James. Thank you for that. You've been brilliant this morning, Bob and Viv. You've been brilliant this morning, um, and um, we. It just when you thought it couldn't get any more joyful, I'm going to push it a little bit further.